Welcome to the Growth Family Network. Today we're doing another sponsored bed vlog. Uh, this one was a little bit different. Um, the lady that contacted us, uh, a fellow neighbor, I mean that, but I mean she's uh, in Louisiana, I do believe. Um, but her bed, as I'll bring you closer to it, is it's a half and half bed. She contacted us and she was like, uh, I can't sponsor $40, but could I do half a bed? And I was like, cool, like, um, I'll do half and then you'll do half. And so she sent us some seeds, she sent us some uh, onion bulbs, some stuff that we couldn't, I wouldn't even try to plant during the fall that I'm still going to show you uh, during uh, the spring and summer. I might try to get it to germinate because some of, one of those was like a sour sap. I think it's like real tropical. It wouldn't have even made it out here half the time. And what I'll do is I'll show you also some of the things that we've been doing with this bed. Actually everything in here, just about everything in here has been given to us besides the peas that we planted along the side. So let me bring you over here and show you. Now this, you're looking, is like, I think cilantro, she sent us some walking onions. Um, I want you to be reminded, just as with Amanda's garden, uh, these things are gonna be slow. When you're trying to grow organically, and especially because this is a first year bed and I, I don't just go crazy with fertilizer. All I did was the same thing with each bed, put in some chicken manure, some uh, leaves. So as those things break down, it'll release more nutrients into the soil. But I have been doing a little uh, like fish fertilizer and, and organic fertilizers uh, liquid as well. So everything on her side, which is this side, Everything on her side was planted from seed. Uh, these things over here are bigger because all of these I got as transplants. My neighbor gave me all of the bok choy and the, uh, the little lettuce and arugula. And we had already planted this. Uh, the, the, I call them slow peas, but I think they're just regular uh, peas. Uh, because when we got the low temperature, if you look down, you'll see how it died back, but it came back. So I know now, at least when the cold, cold temperatures come, I'll cover this side of the bed, try to get those to make it. Uh, so, looking at it, oh, I didn't show you the name of her. Right? So the name that she chose for her bed is, I say Lola, uh, Lowly Bugs, and Beverly says lollybugs. So if you think the name is, hold on. All right. So if you think the name of the bed, L-O-L-L-Y, if it's lollybugs, comment number one. If it's lollybugs, comment a number two. And and I'll be looking for your comments so I can see how to really say it. So, uh, lowly bugs one, lolly bugs two. All right. Another thing uh, with this bed is we had some, she also wanted some uh, green beans, like bush beans. But if you can see, let me take this off. If you can see, the green beans took a hit. When the temperature dropped, they just, they just went. Uh, but I don't even know what these other things are besides the cilantro. I only knew that because Bev's doesn't like the smell of cilantro when it gets big or to eat it. Though she can eat it in the little green cilantro whatever you call that but she doesn't like the taste of it that's how I remember that uh, what that is but I'll have to look here in in the uh, video when we're doing the editing to see what that actually is so 
Another thing those sponsor uh, ships helped us do and actually kind of made us do was put in these systems. Uh, this is a hoop system that I put in and it's really, really easy to put in. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just like electrical conduit and the PVC pipes cost like a dollar and 50 cent. And we just put some electrical conduit into the ground. I'm actually gonna do a video on that. Probably with this bed that's next to that, I'll be able to do a tutorial video on actually how to make this. And I would say this probably cost with the little four hoops. Now you can probably put more if you want, but with these four hoops, I do believe it has to be somewhere around maybe $10, if that, to put that system in. And, and this, what I got over it because I had a crazy rabbit problem or rat or whatever problem, but it doesn't matter if you got rats, squirrels, nothing messes with this stuff. Not even my chickens. So I had a problem where I couldn't let my chickens out in the yard during spring because I had so much stuff growing in the raised beds where where now not these but up to the front <laughs> uh, but now where I have this I let them out daily and they actually don't even come around this stuff uh, the ones that do come in this area they will avoid this area because nothing likes this little grabby garden netting uh, so if you catch this on clearance I actually got I mean, I loaded up everything Walmart had. They dropped these on Clemens for a dollar. And I loaded up on these things just to get them because I'm like, I know I might need them for something. I might need them for something. And, and just by having this, these are 14 by 14. And it's almost perfectly uh, draped over each side. It doesn't make it down my whole um, raised bed. So for that reason, I actually have, you can't tell, I'm gonna bring you in closer. But I actually have two of these. I have one that's starting here. You can see this stuff. It's just a regular little cheap garden netting. And I have one that's starting somewhere down there. And I just got it zip tied. You can see this. This is how I keep it on. Just get the little cheap $1.99 or dollar zip ties and zip tie your netting onto your PVC pipes. And actually, I haven't had any problem with with any rabbits or anything since I actually put this system into play. So this is Loli or Loli or Lolly Bugs Garden. Um, it's early in the morning. That's why our lighting isn't as crazy and we're under full overcast. I mean the whole sky you can see it is beautiful and gray. And I said, I got to come outside. I got to get this done today because I'm sure she wants to see what her garden is looking like. So uh, this is it. In a few more months, I'm sure it's going to be in full effect and we'll probably be able to save seeds from it. So I know from the cilantro, I think they see pretty fast once the heat comes. But even if we can't save seeds, it's cool. These are just sponsored beds. The real, the real money went into getting the soil, um, getting the peat moss, and, and putting in these systems to protect the, the produce. So that's where the real money went into, uh, into this bed and into all our beds that we've been trying to grow in. So I want to thank everybody for donating to us, everybody for joining in, and just just basically past the financial stuff, just basically being happy uh, with us and with the content that we share with you on a weekly basis. Cause I do I do work, so I do come home and and try to come here and and put my best foot forward as far as getting behind or in front of this camera and trying to share some of the stuff that I've learned because by no way am I a professional but I'm starting to feel like a little professional uh, 
when it, when I start to see things growing and I'm sure that's how you feel you should feel you should feel like a professional when you come out and your stuff is growing and and people are enjoying it and people are commenting that they're learning and trying some of the things that you talked about or tried so more importantly that's like that's like takes you over the moon right so I gotta watch over this garden netting. It even grabs you. So if you buy a garden netting, just know that you gotta secure it because it grabs your foot and it won't let you go either. That's why the animals don't like it. So here it is. This is your garden. This is your half because me and you are doing this one together. Uh, so this is your half coming up. My half. I cheated on your half is behind me we're gonna catch up to each other promise all right so this is your garden and thank you for joining in thank you for donating to us thank you for sponsoring this raised bed and I want to say God bless you to you and your family and as always grow 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 peace